I'm just going to say it one it's more coming. time. We got that hot Philly on Philly action. The crab posts are Blazing coming. pasta Brace versus yourselves. Super Smash Brothers. Matthew. Mm. Oh, by the way, Game of Thrones coming out this Sunday. For those of you tuning in for that goodness. Well, most of the over 18. This guy watches Game of Thrones while real, real men watch anime. Anyway. I watch anime too. You, you know what I just started watching today? Nobody cares. da 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 is that a real anime? That is a real anime. That's da, da, a real da, da, da. name. Is that like, a Get up, man. Yeah. Just I, like I have lost interest. All right, we have Renita going <laughs> up against that, yeah. and this is a matchup where uh, I think I think it's gonna be better for Ness if he can just keep that mid range. Yeah. Otherwise, like once Renita gets in, he's just gonna be staying. Keep, I'm trying to juggle Ness up in the air at all times. Yeah, kick gloves off though. Matt immediately just starts snapping. He, he literally went for the you know the hydro pump gimp. Just immediately trying to get Pasta out of here as, as quickly as possible. Looks like this is just a race to try to get the reins of this matchup immediately. Pasta battling back, falling up air into the grab to fair. PK, what do you think about this match on paper? I mean, this match right now, I think that Greninja can definitely do it. It depends on how much he has control, but that has that big old hand. You have to be careful of it. I mean, you, as, as much as Greninja is going to be getting his combos in the air, that up air and his nair are both triggers. Like, that, those are his emergency buttons. Whenever he needs to get something out of a situation, he's either going to up air or just nair. I really wonder who's, uh, I, I really feel like this is probably Matt's, uh, you know, neutral corners here. Because Battlefield, I mean, really works well in his favor so that he doesn't get back thrown pretty much into oblivion. But I really don't know how much platforms are really going to play in Greninja's favor here. And gets back to stage with the counter. Unfortunately, had a dash attack waiting for him. Puts on a little bit of damage getting back on stage, but we were setting neutral here and Blazing Pasta and Matt just doing the dance and will lead to the first stop. Yeah, I feel like he went for that dash attack there because he didn't have feel, um, faith that his um, grab would actually work with him. I mean, he was right there in his face. That, oh, from center stage. Mm, that was from rough. center stage, a back throw from Messi to KO Greninja. At 114 percent, I believe. Yeah, it didn't look like it was over 120, but Ness with a lot of rage here, putting Matt down, gonna get the first stock here, and Blazing Pasta just immediately going to work down throw forward air, getting those strings, goes back to stage to kind of reset, dash attack, does not come up with the chase. However, Matt just still sitting at the tables here, trying to get some sort of momentum, working on Blazing Pasta, doing a little bit of circle camping to try to put on some pressure here in the match. But Matt is, uh, yeah, but Matt is still just trying to get control. I mean, he needs to spare. He, he needs to spare or to, kick, to take this stock ASA now. Oh, looks for the Hydro Pumpkin. Good shield there by Matt, avoiding almost what would have probably been a tremendous amount of damage. Good solid. What a PK Rocket got to do about somewhere around 17 or something like that, right? Um, I'm actually not aware. I just know it has a hell of a lot of knockback. One but, thing I do want to say is that I, I like how Blazing Pasta is not opting to just throw out PK fires whenever he needs it. He, he either does it for a uh, for a for a ledge recovery, or he does it whenever he really has range on his opponent. Mm. And Blazing Pasta punishing the option to try to get the hydro pump off of him, but ooh, jab jab into forward smash, going to be the option to kill Blazing Pasta. Unfortunately, Matt with a tremendous uphill battle to climb with 71% here, and uh, Water Shuriken's not really beating out PK Fire. Unfortunately, it's yo -yo. Oh, he caught him. Too late. That was a 90% charge yo-yo. He said, man, you may be a frog, but I'm about to walk the dog right now. Yeah, man. Two like, frames the hell out of him. Just yo-yo champion in 2017. That's, that's how you know Ness is a bad uh, bad child. Like, he walked the dog. He allows his dog to get ran over like and that. He didn't even pick up the poop afterwards. It really did. No, man. This guy curb your dog. He really just curb stomped Matt right there towards the end of that stock. Yeah, Unfortunately, Matt said he roasted him. I ain't, I ain't talking about his looks either. Like we got some, we having some frog legs tonight, boy. Frog legs, legs. Train them. <laughs> yeah, it's like train, train yeah. legs, yo. Don't just do. I don't want to say that Matt played bad though, but it's just that. I mean, that down smash at that point, Pasta knew. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he just knew. But uh, Town and City, also, uh, I gotta say, I'm, I'm really against this as a stage pick for Matt as a counter. I mean, maybe he wants a little bit more room to work here, but, you know, Town and City with low ceilings, you know, that really just kind of works as a uh, an advantage for Blazing Pasta for up air kills, and then the stage uh, on the side are a lot closer in, so I really can't see too many advantages, but again, I'm no pro with 
for Ninja or Ness. So I, I think the idea may be from that, like, because Pasta is a slower character, the faster character wants more room to, uh, to just try and kind of move maneuver around them. Yeah. That, that, that's the only thing I can think of. I also, know, you know, I wonder what uh, I wonder what stage was banned as a result of that, but the world may never know. Ooh, and he catches the wake up with a forward smash. Very good read by Blazing Pasta, just reading that uh, <coughs> tech chasing situation. Hey man, you gotta tenderize the fall lady before you roast him. Hey man, he was tenderized the hell out of that was just, that was the Louisville slugger tenderization. Nice in Brooklyn. Mm. Here we go, Pasta going right to work. Down throw up air here going to be the recipe for damage. And Matt just struggling right now to kind of find a way in to just put Blazing Pasta down and get some damage on the board. All right, that's the third time in a row that Pasta just ran in a shield. Eventually, we, we need to see a grab coming out for Matt. Yeah, Matt has been opting to use some Tomahawks, but when he's been Tomahawking, he has been using down tilt to try to stuff any kind of grab options. I don't know what that... Uh, I don't know what that frame data is for, for Ninja's down tilt, but... Ooh, great balls of fire! I, f I feel bad. Like, I saw the Yo. I saw the Shadow Sneak. He tried to get out of there real quick, but the Shadow Sneak only prolonged his own death in the PK fire. Now, some people out there as Pokemon enthusiasts, you may think that Flame is not super effective. Well, Wood is. Definitely against water types. It gra the wood, is, wood is grass, right? Yeah. Yeah, man. Cause he pseudo wudoed the hell out of him with that bat, that forward smash. Wait, did you say pseudo wudoed grass? No, he's isn't it like rock fighting or something? Just rock. 